Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a better way to do color variables in SAS. This video was inspired by a blog post by Shane Prendergast, which is available at the URL shown here. It's common with SAS to create variables for colors. Often, you'll use a simple system such as this to name color variables according to their purpose in a site. In his blog post, Shane talks about the advantages of breaking color naming into two steps and naming both functional and descriptive variables for colors. The first step is to create a variable for the color name. For that, you can use the site at this URL to obtain a color name for any color. Once you have color names for HTML hex code colors, you can use those color name variables to create functional color variables. You then use these functional color names in your CSS styles. The benefit of separating color names and color functions is that it makes it easy to use the same color for multiple purposes and have the variable name still make sense. For example, in this code, the link color variable is being used for both anchors and the box class. But using the link variable doesn't make sense inside the box style. Using the method described by Shane, you can do the following. This way, it looks nicer and is also more maintainable. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Shane for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web design and other topics.